Hello, in this video we are going to talk about the Norman Conquest in 1066 and William I. From the year 1066 to 1399 there were Norman and Angevin rulers. That is why England was dominated by a French-speaking nobility and a Latin-speaking clergy. How did William I become King of England? First of all, we are going to revise some background information. Edward the Confessor was King of England and he died in 1066. What happened next? Who was the next in the line of succession? Then we are going to see. The Early Middle Ages the definition of the early Middle Ages is the period in European history from the collapse of the Roman civilization in the 5th century to the period of the Renaissance, that is the 13th, 14th, 15th century depending on the region of Europe. The Witchan were a group of nobles who were advisors of the Anglo-Saxon kings. They elected Edward the Confessor as King of England. Edward was William's cousin. He was half Saxon, half Norman by birth, and he spent most of his life in Normandy. Godwinson was his opponent. Hostility ended when Godwinson, Earl of Wessex, married his daughter to the King Edward. Godwin had other sons in a strategic post. The favorite was Harold, who became Earl of Wessex after his father died. Edward gave more attention to the church than to the government, and he was childless. Edward was about to die, and he had three favorites. The first one was his cousin William, the Duke of Normandy, the second one was his brother-in-law, Tosti Godwinson, that is Harold's younger brother. And the third was Harold Godwinson, his brother-in-law. When Edward dies, the Witan chooses Harold Godwin as his successor because he was already there in England. Both aspirants disputed the claim and prepared their armies to challenge Harold. William had three reasons for claiming the English throne. The first one was that Edward the Confessor had promised him to make him his heir. The second one was that Harold Godwin had given him his oath of support. The third one was that William was related to the English royal family by Viking descendant. Since Harold had recently put aside the Catholic Church services, William was given the blessing of Pope Alexander II to invade England. Tostig and Harold Hatrata Tostig, who was Harold Godwinson's brother, was in exile in Norway. Tostig landed in Northumbria, aided by Harold Hatrata, King of Norway. Harold Hadrada also wanted to be king based on an arrangement made 30 years earlier between King Hardenat and the Danish King Magnus. King Harold Godwinson moved his troops to Northumbria to repass the invaders at Stamford Bridge near York. King Harold was a brave fighter. As it was expected, this was a victory for his army. William Victory While King Harold was triumphing in the north, William was landing in the south. Harold returned without reinforcement. The armies met near Hastings on October 1066. Battle Information Harold had two lines, one line of men with shields and the other line there were infants and knights. On the other hand, William had three lines, one line of archery, another line of infantry, and other line of chivalry that were mounted knights. William's archers had a new weapon that was the long bow. Anybody could shot, 
even with one hand. William ordered the archers to launch above the line of shields, and this is how they kill Harold. William was crowned in Westminster Abbey on Christmas Day. Victory at the Battle of Hastings did not guarantee William control of England. For the next five years, William I crushed local resistance. William was tired of northern rebels, and as he could not control them, he ordered their extermination. It was a military campaign of brutal violence known as the Harrowing of the North. The aim was to show rebels that William was in charge.